Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the topless using only Beef. And the topless components are thanks to Max, and I'll leave everything, I'll leave where you can find him down below in the description. Uh, we're going to start this off, if you have logo outfits already, you can build your, you can start this off using your C1 logo. This video assumes that you don't have logo outfits, so I'm just going to finish this off with the white logos off the racing suit. So to start off our C1 outfit, because we have to set up a couple of things first, we're just going to put on the sand t-shirt. And then remove any other parts that you might have on, any helmets, any hats, any scarves or accessories, whatever, we want to start fresh. I actually forgot to remove my cuffs, but I could, yeah. But anyway, so we want the sand t-shirt, the gun running t-shirt on. And then after that, we're going to go into the suit pants and we're just going to put on the gold print fitted suit pants. Now both the sand gun running and the gold print fitted pants are both torso two and pants merge components so we're actually going to be putting our torso one our accessories and our shoes onto this so we're going to go over to the shoe section and we're just going to remove our shoes and then we're going to go into the utility vest and we'll put on the red camo plate carrier we're actually going to tighten strip that because that's like the easiest I way to really do that for this outfit so we're just going to do that and we're just going to put on the red camo plate carrier this is what the outfit should look like when we save it as C1. And then we will go into heist coveralls and we will apply the quarantine. Now once you've got that on, we will head to the nearest telescope. We're going to run at the telescope. We're going to sort of run past it, hold down on the D-pad. We're going to sort of glitch out looking at it. And then we're going to open up our interaction menu. We're going to apply this, the C1 outfit that we saved and that mask should glitch onto that outfit. We're just going to save this at the mask store in our C1 position. Now I actually forgot to save the belt that I wanted. So I'm actually going to go over to the clothing store and I'm going to go into the ear racing suits because I want the shark racing belt on the finished outfit here. You can put on any belt you want. This is just how you have to do it. So I'm going to grab that and I'm going to save that in my merge position, which is always slot 1 or 20. And then once we've got those two outfits saved, we're going to go outside. We're going to sort of spam the C1 outfit for about 10 seconds. Walk around. We'll close the interaction menu. The save circle will finish. And then we're going to open up the Rockstar created mission, a titan of a job. When you spawn into the job, you should see here that the plate carrier will have disappeared. If that's what's happened, you can head to the gun store and then we'll save this outfit in the C1 position. And then before I leave this job here, I usually apply my merge outfit that I want, which for this will be the belt. And then once we've done that, we'll just simply find a new session. When you're back in a session, you'll find that that C1 outfit is not actually selectable. That means it's mergeable. We can jump into a crooked cop and we'll put this belt on there. Now when we're in crooked cop, we're just going to go left once to C1. And then that's going to put that torso one over our, um, merge, our C1 merge outfit. I'm just going to open up the interaction menu. We'll apply an earpiece and then we will just quit through creator. When we're back in an invite only session, we will save this outfit here as C1, because this is what this is the C1 outfit that we want for our next Beth, which is where we're going to put on the shoes and the accessories. So we're just going to save this outfit here as C1. With that outfit still applied, we're going to go over to the shoe section, we're going to go into sport shoes, and we're just going to put on the red cross trainers. That's our C2 merge shoe. After we beef that, we've merged, we'll make a merge shoe component. And then to merge our accessory, we're going to put on the black desert scarf. That's going to merge our accessory. We're just going to change those two parts for C2. And then we'll just save that in our, in our C2 position. Which for me is slot 2. 
Now, the, sh the shoes I want on this are on the red racing suit. You can put on any shoes you want. I'm just using these. And we're actually, we're going to separate these shoes from the suit because I want to take the accessories at the same time, which is a bow tie. So I'm going to save the shoes in my merge position. And then we're going to go into bodysuits and we're going to put on the luminous bodysuit. And then we will find the nearest telescope where we will do the same thing again with the glitching out and the putting this mask onto the outfit that, we, that has our shoes. So we're going to be opening up the interaction menu and applying the outfit labelled merch. That should glitch that mask onto the racing suit. We're just going to walk straight past the counter and go into tops. I'm going to go into fitted suit jackets and put on the white boating blazer. That's just the one I own that is compatible with the red bow tie. So I'm just going to apply that and then go into accessories and I will put on, go into ties and then put on the red bow tie. And then there is our shoes and our accessories set up for our merge spot. We can just save that over merge, which is my slot one. So that's our C1 outfit, and then C2, and then our merge has our shoes and our accessories in it. So we are going to, this is shoe stuff, accessory stuff, so we will make sure that our parachute is set to classic. We are going to apply the C1 outfit, and then we will set the parachute to on. We're going to hold down on the D-pad. And then we will just sit on Franklin, wait for the safe circle to finish of course, sit on that alert, we'll cut our net. Now this, in the corner is my console 1 still, this here is my C2, we will simply load in, we will open up the interaction menu, we will just apply the outfit labelled C2, we'll wait for the safe circle to finish and then we will, we will just exit back to story. Now this is my console 1, the time will come where C2 will drop out of online, you will just reapply the C1 outfit back out of the interaction menu and then reconnect your net cut and hope that the save circle finishes before you get kicked back to story, just like you see here. Once in story, you can just simply join in another online session because we need to join another crooked cop. But you should spawn into a session looking like this. You'll be wearing your C1 outfit. If that's what you have, then you can enter in a crooked cop. And then we will just go over to the outfits, saved as merge, and then back to our current outfit. Now shout out to my friend GeoBBM who joined every single one of my Crooked Cops and that is super helpful. So we will open up our interaction menu and we will apply the earpiece and we will just quit through Creator. And then we'll go back into an invite only session. Now this outfit is set up, so we just need to like put this somewhere else for now because now we're actually going to make our merge outfit which is the topless like component itself so for that so this we're just going to save anywhere else because we're going to be using our working slots for other things don't make sure you don't lose this so for our c1 outfit we're going to apply the pogo flight suit that's flight suit not the character suit now you see me here remove the mask but you don't need to i just do but i don't know and then we're going to save we're going to save this pogo flight suit as C1. For our C2, we will just go into leather bomber jackets and we're going to put on the lilac closed, the lilac dotted leather closed, that one there. So all we're going to do is apply that and we're just going to save that in our C2 position. Okay, now this part is a little bit different. We're going to go into our standard outfits and we're going to apply the cheeker. So make sure you do that. Apply the cheeker and then we will walk outside and we'll do this Beth. So you open up your interaction menu, go into style, apply the parachute but then remove it. All we need to do is just trigger a safe circle. We don't need any parachutes on for this. And then this is my console 2, you will open up the interaction menu, you apply the outfit that we labelled C2, which is the lilac dotted closed leather bomber. Wait for that save circle, go back to story. 
This is C1. For C1, we will just simply apply C1, which is the Pogo flight suit. We will wait for that safe circle, and then hopefully that all will go well. When we load back into an invite-only session, we will have this outfit here. This is obviously not the topless. We are going to fix that right now. So we will save this outfit here as C1. We're going to change a couple of things about this. We're going to put on the sand cargos for starters so we can merge on those um, pants at the same time. And since this is topless, we have to merge on the hands at the same time. So we're going to open up the interaction menu and then just like scroll right until you hit the grey digital tactical gloves. You can't apply them in the in the store, it doesn't let you. So make sure you do that through the interaction menu. And then we're going to save this arrangement here in our C2 spot. Now in our merge spot, it's really important that you put on the black bikini for your top. If you want gloves from the store, you can merge those on at the same time. But I don't, I don't actually want gloves on this outfit because I, pr I prefer it without that. So just make sure you apply the black bikini. And then I'm going to go into stockings and use like these Wizard of Oz ones. You can use whichever ones you want. You can use anything you want. But this is our merge outfit. It has the black bikini and the pants you want. So we're going to save this in our merge spot. And again, thank you so much to Max for this because, oh my, oh my god, this is my holy grail. But So that's our setup. We've got the, the pogo one that we started with and then we've changed those into merge components. This is our merge outfit here. We're, I'm going to set my bag to Israel, but it doesn't matter. You can use Israel or Classic, but I use Israel for this. And then we're just going to apply the C1, which is the, the ugly pogo shirt we spawned in with. And then we're going to apply the parachute. And then we'll do the BF glitch again. So when you load into a session, you will spawn in wearing the C1 outfit. If that's happened, you can enter another crooked cop. And then we will go over to the merge outfit with the bikini and then back to current and it takes that off. We'll just apply an earpiece to this and then quit through creator again. So that's how you actually get the topless. That's really kawaii. Cool, eh? But anyway, for we're going to continue on with this outfit. So we'll just save this in our merge spot because for us, this isn't finished. So we're going to save the topless in our merge spot. I know, it's looking gorgeous, eh? And then what we're going to do is we're going to put on the shoes outfit that we made earlier, this one here. We're going to save that in our C1 position. And then delete the other copy because otherwise your Beth can get confused. So right, that's what I'm doing here. Just We'll just save this C1 and then we'll remove it from where it was. And then for our C2 outfit, we just want any racing suit. This will merge with any racing suit, any biker suit or any air racing suit. So that's also cool. If you don't want the racing logos, you can choose either one of those other ones. But I use racing logos, so I'm going to save any racing suit in C2. We also have to go into gloves and we will apply the grey digital tactical gloves again because this is the topless, you have to merge on the hands every time, otherwise it will break. So make sure you've got those two applied for your C2. Now I'll just show you once again what we've got to finish this outfit off. Uh, that's our C1 that we made earlier. And then the C2 is the racing suit with the gloves. And then in our merge spot is the topless. So I couldn't actually get the cuffs to transfer over. So because of the bow tie. So just apply the C1 outfit and the Israel bag. No glasses for this because it's, it's just too hard. But anyway, we're just going to hit the BF glitch with those two outfits there. We will spawn in with the Israel half and half. That's where the, um, the racing top or the navy jacket will end up on your outfit we'll just go over to our merge which is the topless we'll go back to our current outfit and then we will ready up and we will enter this job and we will save this outfit with an earpiece and then we will quit again now you can save this shiny new outfit in its outfit position of course, with any like glitched parts, you have to telescope the hat back on, which is you know what I end up doing. I just use a standard hat from the 
backwards cap section because I thought it was so cute. This outfit is so exciting. I love that it exists. I have worked on this for so long and it never fucking worked. So I'm really, 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 really pleased that Max was able to bring this to us and that I was able to make this video for you because I've, I've always wanted this. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you had fun making this outfit. I hope that you did what, I hope the outfit that you ended up with is something that you like because I think that being able to do this is really cool. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, comment on my video, follow my Twitter, ravings, you know, my occasional Instagram posts. Thank you for watching.